As expected, the Portuguese president has been re-elected for a second term with 61% of the vote. But it comes amid the lowest ever turnout for a presidential election, just shy of 40%, and a second national lockdown as coronavirus cases reach record levels. The principal response given for this election is one and one só. Tudo começa no combate à pandemia. Se a pandemia durar mais e for mais profunda, tudo o resto que queremos tanto correrá pior. Conservative moderate Marcelo Rebelo de Souza has endeared himself to the Portuguese with his candid, easygoing style. He's been working closely with the centre-left minority socialist government to support its pandemic efforts. The small country is reporting the world's highest seven-day rolling average of new COVID cases and deaths per capita. Hospitals are nearly full, with ambulances in Lisbon queuing for hours to hand over their patients. In an election held under strict social distancing rules, left-wing candidate Ana Gomes came in second with 13 percent, ahead of far-right candidate André Ventura, but only just. The populist ally of France's Marine Le Pen and Italy's Matteo Salvini bagged nearly 12 per cent of the vote. Espanha, Alemanha, passando por Itália e pela França, todos estes líderes se regozijaram na enorme força que transmitimos e que lhes mostramos que estamos também ao seu nível na luta contra o sistema em Portugal. Such a showing for Ventura was unthinkable until recently. In 2019, his party, Chega, entered parliament with just 1.3% of the vote.